federal authorities tonight say they're still uncertain the true amount of dough that this Chicago weight loss infomercial king actually has, and they want him locked up again because he still owes so many millions to the government. But mugging for the I-Team camera this afternoon with what some might consider a five-finger discount wave, Kevin Trudeau remains free while a U.S. judge orders him to come up with some financial answers. Over here, over here. Where are you going? Where are you going? The pitchman Kevin Trudeau yelled as his hired car seemed to veer away this afternoon outside the Dirksen Federal Courthouse. But Trudeau himself isn't going far after a federal judge ordered him to remain in the Chicago area, even though he wants to travel globally for business. Trudeau is still on probation after serving eight years of a 10-year sentence for criminal contempt after continuing to make deceptive weight loss claims in his infomercials. The Federal Trade Commission had asked Judge Robert Gettleman to lock up Trudeau. FT D.C. attorneys cite $30 million of Trudeau's that is allegedly unaccounted for, even as they say the convicted fraudster still owes a portion of a $37 million federal judgment. Trudeau claims he's all paid up. This woman, Trudeau's ex-wife Natasha Babenko, has voluntarily turned over documents to the FTC from their Oak Brook mansion and from their home here in Zurich, Switzerland, that she claims provides new information about where Trudeau has assets overseas. And she was deposed by FTC attorneys who say she told them that when she traveled here to Trudeau's home in Zurich, she saw gold bars and massive amounts of jewelry. When he had Trudeau and was living the very high life, Chicago's weight loss infomercial king didn't have to worry about hailing a ride share. He had his own Bentley. Judge Gettleman this afternoon has other questions for Trudeau, notably why he didn't report to the judge when he was released from prison this year. Trudeau due back in court a week from Wednesday and has an FTC deposition December the 9th. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.